Hi, I'm David Sykes. I'm a data scientist here at Octopus Energy. The new Octopus Tracker Tariff follows the wholesale energy markets, and I'm here to tell you why that's something you shouldn't be scared of. This graph here, the top graph with the grey line, shows you the wholesale electricity price uh, over the last year. So this is the amount we pay to buy your electricity on your behalf. What we see is that there is some variability in the, in the wholesale price. So some days it's down at £30 per megawatt hour, some days it jumps up. The green line below shows you the uh, unit rate you'd pay for your electricity on the new Octopus Tracker. So what you see is that it exactly follows the uh, wholesale price we're paying for your electricity. When we contrast this to what you'd pay with a typical Big Six uh, standard variable tariff, which is in red, so the red line shows you the unit rate for a typical Big Six standard variable tariff, um, which most of the UK uh, uh, energy market are on, we see that despite some of these spikes, the Octopus Tracker tariff is typically cheaper on, on most days. So there's only a few very rare days within the year where the Tracker tariff was more expensive than, than what you'd pay on a typical standard variable tariff. What you also see is that as, as the wholesale rate goes up, the tracker tariff will follow it, and then as it comes down, it will also follow it. So you see both the upside and the downside. Whereas with the standard variable tariff, with the big six, the unit rate has gone up over the last couple of months as the big six have reacted to changes in price in the wholesale market. So you only see the downside with a, with a standard variable tariff. If we look at gas, you see exactly the same story. So the dark line shows you the wholesale price of gas with time and, and, and you see the variability and the seasonality in it. And the green line shows the new tracker tariff unit rate and the red line shows the standard variable tariff for an average Big Six customer. And what you see is that firstly that there's no days where the new tracker rate would have been more expensive than the standard variable rate. And you also see the same dynamic with the standard variable rates increasing over time and not decreasing when the wholesale rate comes off. So now let's look at how this impacts what you pay as a customer. So this shows the uh, amount you pay per day um, as, a, as a customer, with the green being the, octopus, the new Octopus Tracker Tariff and the red being an average Big Six standard variable tariff. And it's over the last year. Down here is the summer where you're not using as much electricity and gas, so you pay less per day. And up here is the winter where you're using lots of electricity and gas and you're paying more per day. The key thing to notice here is that there's only a very few days where you pay more on the tracker tariff than you would on a standard variable tariff. Whereas the majority of days, the Octopus tracker tariff is significantly cheaper than a, than a big six standard variable tariff. So if we take a typical winter day, say, uh, during a week at the peak, you might pay £4.43 for your electricity and gas for that day versus uh, £4 um, on the Octopus tracker tariff. So most of us pay for our electricity on a monthly basis. So let's look at it like that. So this again shows the amount you pay uh, for your electricity and gas bills uh, per month, with the red being a typical big six standard variable tariff and the green being the new octopus tracker tariff over the last year. And what we see is despite some days where the octopus tracker tariff is slightly more expensive, on a monthly basis the octopus tracker tariff is always significantly cheaper than a standard variable tariff. This is why I think the tracker tariff is a really fair and transparent way for us to price your energy and for you to pay for your energy. If you have any more questions, please drop me an email at david.octopus.energy.